Hello everybody. Today I'm just going to show a quick video on uh, a few mods I've done to my Jeep over the last three or four years. I have uh, pressurized water using the stock rear bumper. I saw that online. I thought that was the coolest thing. So on the, uh, on the bumper, on the bottom of the bumper you see on the right is where the quick disconnect water line is coming out of. And on the left you have uh, the air line from my air compressor. That's the bleed the air compressor tank when it's, uh, you know, when it's, uh, I'm all done using it to get the water out of the tank. That's for my Pline air horns. Okay. Now, I also put a roto pack for fun on the, uh, on the Jeep and it's, uh, it's mounted to the uh, back of the tire carrier. I think that's a pretty cool mount. Real easy to put on. Here's an image of the uh, roto packs that I put on over the winter. It's on a, a bracket that I found that mounts directly to the uh, tire carrier in back. Simple installation, just drop the tire, loosen up the tire carrier, and then slide this bracket in, and you can put your roto packs on. The only thing with, the, uh, with this design, you only can put one, you can't put a double or a triple on there. Because as you open the tailgate, you're going to hit your light in the back. So you don't have the clearance to put more than one pack on. This is a shot of under the hood where the battery is mounted. Now because this is a more modern vehicle, I don't want to screw up all the computers just by chance. So I wired everything straight off the battery with fuses and relays and so forth. So on this vehicle it's real easy because you have all these... Uh, you know, all these uh, extra nuts coming off of the clamp, so that's real easy to mount your positives and so on. Over here is my, uh, it's an old CB radio bracket, right here. And this is where I, that's where my air compressor is. And lastly, since this is uh, only a summer vehicle, I put a battery charger on it, so this is uh, my, my connection right here where it goes on to the top of the battery also. So it keeps me a, a good battery all the time and uh, everything works really well. Here is an image where the uh, air horns are mounted. They're mounted right behind the uh, transfer case right here. What's cool about the Klein air horn kit is that it, it fits to a T like a glove inside this vehicle and this is a, a Tudor a sport model I just scooted a little bit more underneath above the rear end is the uh, air compressor where it's mounted it's mounted in this spot right over here it's mounted in its own bracket and so forth so that works uh, it's a really a nice spot perfect the only thing with the Klein air horn kit because this is a Jeep it's so hard to work on because you can't even turn a wrench when you're putting these parts in place. But all the parts fit like a glove. You just got to find a way to tighten all the fasteners down. Right next to the, of the air compressor, that's where I put my, uh, my water pump. It's an RV water pump right here. So that's mounted to the floorboards. And here's a view of the uh, underside of the vehicle with the, the water line and the air line coming out. I use those uh, stainless steel three quarter inch clamps just to hold them to the, you know, hold them in place. I drill and tapped holes into the frame and I use stainless steel hardware. So that should be a, a nice, uh, it's not gonna move, it's solid. I had to add a piece of rubber to the, uh, to the uh, clamp because it, the air hose was a little bit loose. The water line was fine, so I just snugged it up a little bit. Here's a shot of the back of the Jeep inside, and I mounted the switch right there. Real, real easy to do. You have four little screws right here, one, two, around the vehicle, the four of them. And then uh, just loosen them up, slip up the carpet, and you could mount the, uh, do the switch. So I mounted it when I drilled the holes for the pump. I marked it. I drilled one hole from underneath, matched it up on the top, drilled the other four, and then uh, from down, 
from inside, bolted it all up, drilled a hole next to it for the, the wire going through, coming up inside, and I put a rubber grommet on it just to uh, protect the wire from ever getting cut by the sheet metal. But this was a real easy installation, doing the insides. I added a bonus on it, I put a peanut table in the back for myself. So then I just open it up and I have a little table. That's real cool too, I like that feature a lot. On a traditional truck you have a tailgate, on the Jeep you don't. So now you can't just put your beverage down or whatever you're doing. So I like the table very much. And on the top of the bumper I have my water fill. For the uh, bumper, this little thing here says water. You just loosen it up. If I get my dumb fingers to work, and you fill it up right there. And then, when you want to, if you want to use the water, you just want to vent the cap. So, possibly you could compress the, uh, collapse the bumper. Maybe I don't know. But you just turn the cap loose when you want to use it. They say it holds like seven gallons of water. You probably get an easy five out of it, five or six. The pump pumps out uh, 3.2 gallons of measure or something, so maybe I could actually time it or fill up water bottles and see. And it's all filled up with water. No leaks underneath. That's cool. No leaks. on the water and I flip my switch. Spray is a good thirty feet or so. The pump only runs when uh, you ask for the water and it shuts off. That's pretty cool. I put the air horn switch right in front of the console. I thought it was a cool place to put it. Hands always there. I think it's viciously loud too. Well, there you have it. Another quick video. Thanks for watching, everyone.